this Baron. Let's see here. I was able to convince their chieftain to work the local garrison to help patrol the roads. Oh, Marin did that. And now Select did that too. Oh, I managed that with two people. How did I manage that? Okay, I was able to convince them. I did. Okay, let's see what you have for sale. And let's see what I have for sale. I probably don't have anything for sale. Follow me! Everybody, follow me! What do you need? No place to run this town, Kalakcha! Not what you have stolen. Hand it over, and we will let you live. This is getting tiresome! What's so important about that blasted thing that has them chasing us all over Farron? Who knows? I wish I knew Ah, this. take your time! At least the fight's come to us! In the shard of an hour. 
or we will take it from your corpse. You walk a strange path for a harborman. Apparently I'm not the only one who has a problem with it. Forgive me, but I saw these things about to attack you. I found I could not simply stand by while you were ambushed. Again, I'd like to help if I could. I've been trying to follow you without interfering, but I don't think you'll reach your destination without someone who knows the land. I am Eleni, and rather than shadow you, I would walk with you. With a frame like that, you'd most likely be blown by the wind. Now, now, no need to be jealous, Barrel House. Of an elf? And a tree worshipper on top of that? Ah! I think you will find tree worshippers a rare thing these days, Dwarf. So do not use that word lightly. Trust me. With a gut like his, Kelgar doesn't do anything lightly. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so would you please let me do that? Always talking to the elves and the half-demons and the like. It'll end badly, I tell you. Yes, and who knows where talking might lead us next. Stow it, Kelgar! Oh dear. You still haven't told me. It's a strange circle of who follows who on this road. At first, I was following those who attacked you. But they seem to be following you. Which leads me to believe there's something you have, something they want, so I thought that perhaps my enemy's enemies would at least welcome some company to their destination, and with my help, even get there faster. Faster? Well, I come bearing a gift, not just words. I know of a quicker path to Highcliff, and one that will hide your trail as well. There is a druid sanctuary not far from here, the Maiden's Glade, where members of my circle would go for refuge when traveling the land. I can lead you there, and with no further attacks from these hunters of yours. Not that you can't handle yourself, but I'm sure you're growing as tired of these attacks as I am. Okay. Very well. That wasn't so hard to admit now, was it? What, what the hell is this? First the demon, now this willow-thin slip of an elf? Let's invite all the realms, make a grand army tromping through the wilderness. Enemies, come get us! Here we are! We will not be tromping through the wilderness. We will be weaving through it like the wind. And speaking of wind, shut your mouth, Kelgar, before your breath summons more of those creatures. Besides, wouldn't you rather have our new friend right here, where we can see her, rather than behind us the whole way? As for the way, if the sun and trail read true, you are bound to never winter. Seeking safety behind walls, are you? Ah, what to say, what to say. 
of his stuff. Indeed. The more distant relatives they are, the better, in my experience. Let's be on our way. Follow me. The Maiden's Glade is not far. This is a long way from the road. Are you sure you know where you're going? Agreed. How much farther is this place? Not far, for we are already here. This is Eridus, the Maiden's Glade, in the Tongue of Harbormen. That sounds elvish. Almost elvish. You are correct. You surprise me. Just as the Mayor of Dead Men was once Meridalane, the slow marching cord, this place also had a name long before settlers from Neverwinter set foot here. Did they ever set foot here? I can barely see where we're going. Trust me, it's no better at my height either. Sure as the hells couldn't find my way back to the road now. The road to the Maiden's Glade is hidden, known only to druids and the beasts of the land. You cannot revisit this place without me to guide you. The glade up ahead was a retreat for druids, a place of shelter if they needed to heal or rest. Many such places exist along the coast. The animals here would protect the druids, and they will shield you from your pursuers if they should find you. Uh, you mean those animals? Yeah, real life, Rapier doesn't work too much. Well. This is not real life. I'm not sure if you're really honest, I'm not sure. The animals here are frightened, and I know not why. There is usually at least one druid in the glade, and they should be aware of the beasts, and us. Well. I say we avoid any wolves or anything trying to kill us. I say we fight them. They attack us, we attack them. Besides, <laughs> could use new boots. Okay. I would prefer to get here without I would prefer that, yes. Yeah? How can I help? Not much. Okay. I'm gonna have to Certainly. Wait. These wolves. They were slaughtered, and not for food, but out of bloodlust. Is this why the animals attacked us? Whatever is wrong must be here in the glade. I thought the circle of the mayor would be aware of any disturbance here. But now it seems the task must fall to us. Why? Let's just go. 
I'm done stopping through these groves and animals, and letting her pick the trail. Well, no, we should see what's wrong. You have my thanks. I would hate for whatever pursues us to be at our back. you, Eleni, to try and escape the mayor, to seek refuge here. The mayor? What is wrong? The mayor. It speaks with different voice now. Its waters, once clear to the circle, are now dark and run deep, so deep. What do you mean? Where are the others, the rest of the circle? Vashni and the others. They are lost. Only you remain. I thought I could find you, or Nevan, but what claims the mare overtook me, clouded my vision with shadows and blood, trapped me in this form. Do not return to the mare, Eleni. Do not, or you shall fall to its corruption as I did. I... Uh, Kaylil, he's... dead. It was he that caused such unrest here, and why the animals attacked us. You mentioned something about the circle. Yes. The circle of the mare. I have been away for some time. Kaylil and I are part... We're part of the circle of Merdelaine, the mare of dead men. If the elders... If Vashni is lost, and Nevan is lost... Uh, I have been away too long, but this would explain why I could not feel the circle any longer. And as for the land... But we should press on. I promise to lead you to High Cliff, and to safety. And so far this path has proved longer than I wished. Farewell, Kaelil. May you rest, and may the glade become peaceful again. You're risking your entire ship by going out there, Captain. Ignore me if you will, but at least listen to your own men. We're leaving port right now. Nothing's stopping this shipment to Neverwinter, especially not a pack of lizard folk. What are you lot just standing there for? Bring up the sails! Man the oars! 
The fool is risking a ship worth ten times the cargo he's carrying. And for what? For the sake of a few extra gold for an early delivery. Well, it's always risky. Aye, but he's trying to set sail when we've got lizard folk going out of their way to sink every boat coming out of this village. A good captain is a fool to think he can sail out without drawing the attention of the lizards. Horror Master! He out there! He Looks care. like the lizard folk have themselves another victim! I really don't think he cares. And I think we've all learned a lesson here. If I say it's too dangerous to sail, it's too dangerous to sail. All right, lads, see what we can do to help those sailors. Let's just hope the lizard folk let them swim ashore. Sorry, but I've got my hands full here. Some of the other sailors should be able to fill you in. What's this? A traveling circus? Every easy one of them's a hoverman. Hoverman? Like I care what Swamp Fuck Farm Swamp Farmer can do. Seems to me there's making some of a joke in you for a dwarf, a tree worshipper, a demon, and a swamp smelling hoverman. Oh, 
plant a Don't get all upset. All in good fun, you know. No harm done except for some legs and knees and hands. <laughs> we didn't need to find Kilgar. Next time, right again. It's hard to steal from someone when they think you're going to, to attack them. If we're done making the plan, let's move on. I agree. Fine. I say we try and find another tavern. There's bound to be more drunks needed. Still playing farm, still playing farmer in the swamp village. Is he? I'd be having to grant you a passage, but as you can see, we're all stuck here for now. Move ships in or out of High Cliff on account of the attacks. Which means I've got a shipload of cargo riding at the docks until this mess is sorted. you want to become a farmer, I tell you. Nothing's worse than wishing you were a farmer. I am a farmer and a farmer. Now it's a conversation about the way my character smells. Okay, are you? Farewell. Hey, you there! A little help, please. Why should I help you? Because you look more than capable of handling danger, that's why. There are noises coming from inside my, inside my house. It must be thieves. Thank you. My home is the one right in front of me. Surprise, surprise. Making too much noise. Sorry, sorry. Time to break the bones.
can barely move with all this equipment. Yes. Well, looks like this lock needs some special attention. All done. Okay, no remains. Okay. It's loading. Okay, let's go talk to Par and teleport into Marin. Things got messy. None of this blood is mine. I did have a little bit of corpses in there. I see. All of you did a thorough job destroying my home, no doubt. Here, take some potions for, my effort, for your efforts. I beg you inside and see just how bad things Yeah, I'm saying. 